Hello everybody, it is Chuck Thunder and we're back with another episode. Bit of a hiatus here, unfortunately. Um, I had to be in the hospital with my son, so this put a delay on being able to create this video. Naturally, I know you guys are all very supportive of me, so you guys understand what, you know, the kind of thing that we're going on and, you know, family comes first. So, now we're back at it with an episode regarding level caps. Um, when it comes to... Uh, UWO, you might notice that there is a point where you reach where the uh, level kind of stops. You stop gaining experience. And um, you'll notice that that level cap happens at around 60. And I believe it's 60 across the board. Um, so let me just check here unlocking your level cap yeah starting at 60 to getting you up to 65 and then it happens in increments of five and that happens for each of the different types so that's adventure trade and battle once you reach 60 you stop earning experience and then you need to do a quest to unlock the next five levels so you can earn them and this could be important for you if you a want to just continue leveling and b you want to um, get to those ships that have certain requirements um, and some requirements are more, uh, you know, closer to the 65, 70, 75 range, and each quest is going to unlock further. I'm not going to go into every detail regarding all adventure cap or trade level cap or battle level caps. I'm only going to talk about the one. In this video here, you see me doing the trade level capping. It's probably the most important one for most people because they get some of those faster ships that they want, such as a big trading clipper, which is my main goal here. Um, so I want to talk about the first level cap unlock under trade. So this is got to have level 56 or above trade in order to uh, get the indication that you're ready for the uh, level cap increase. You'll see a little blue message when you arrive at your capital city and that will say something along the lines of looks like there's an opportunity to gain new power. Visit the millionaire at the Calicut Square. Okay, so that's the quest line that it's going to put you on in order to unlock your level 65 uh, cap. So you're obviously I did this at level 60, so um, I didn't realize that there was a cap at level 60 when I did it. So this is one of those things in which that I figured out as I went. But if you can get the ability to do it as soon as level 56, so you got to have um, that. You also have to have the East Coast Latin American port permit, which up to the alley with all my other tutorials, you should be able to get to that. Um, and you want at least the 34 million ducats for jewelry um, and investments because you're going to be needing some jewelry and some of those jewelry pieces only come when you do investments in certain places, which we'll get into that. Um, and then you're going to want to uh, make sure that some of these investments are done um, at your uh, city, your, your, your nation's Caribbean territory city. So depending on who you are, um, if you're Spanish, it'll be... Trujillo, Grand Cayman, if you're for English, Wilmestad, if you're French, I don't remember exactly, but Caracas, Cayenne, Pernambuco, whatever your um, uh, company, uh, whatever your, your nationality is, that's what you're going to want to make sure you have in order to get one of the items. Um, so, anyways, you're going to go all the way to um, Calicut to talk to the millionaire, and that's pr pretty much the main quest line. You're going to be communicating with the millionaire and his wife, who are back and forth at the... Um, uh, millionaire Square. So the millionaire is in the square, and his wife is down by the water. And you'll see in my video here, um, as I landed in Calicut just recently, and I find the millionaire. Now, first, I'm doing a couple of housekeeping things, such as the bank and stuff of that nature, and you know, fixing a few things. But I'm really not. So there's the millionaire, and you talk to him, and he's gonna give you uh, some quest line information here. Um, and then it's pretty much him saying, "Hey, go to my wife." who is down at the water, which you can see on the mini-map here. She, he needs to give her gifts to make her love him again, apparently. So you're going to go back and forth until you finish the quest line of talking back and forth. Um, and once you get all that, then he's going to send you on a, a list, a quote, you know, basically to go do his shopping list for his wife. And you're going to need different um, uh, pieces of jewelry for this and this is why you have to have the money for the jewelry and you have to have the money for the investment in each of the locations where you need to buy them so um, the rest of this video is going to be me pretty much sailing to these locations and getting those items some of the things I may skip over such as how I got some of those items but um, basically 
uh, yeah, I'm still doing the quest line here, so I'm going to get triggered a lot for these sorts of things and just go through it all until you get the, you know, confirmation that you need to go get the items in your inventory. you got to have all five pieces of jewelry in your inventory. You could do all of that in advance if you want, so that way you're already here. Um, but that's totally up to you. Um, in my case, I was um, doing this kind of like piecemeal, like I didn't have these items in advance with me, so I went to the different locations. So um, that was me getting into the first major area, Hormuz, uh, in order to get the turquoise brooch. So I went and invested in it um, to 100,000, as you see me here circling. 120,000, I should say. I believe that's what it said. And then once you do that, you can go to the item keeper and you can um, get the item. Uh, the, you're looking for the turquoise brooch and it cost me six million okay and that was in Hormuz the next one's gonna be in Cape Town so that's gonna be the next thing that I do see me circle it here going to Cape Town so I'm heading down that way uh, sailing there slowly until I get to Cape Town where I'm gonna need to invest 180 K and spend 11 million on a diamond necklace and then once you're done with Cape Town you're gonna then go to a few other locations um, I sent my alt to go to the Caribbean territory of the major city of, of Spain, which was Trujillo. Um, and from there, I had him do the investments in order to get the Jade Ring. Um, once I had the Jade Ring, I brought that character back to the main area to do a swap. Um, and then Jamaica also had a place where I needed to go to. So while I was in Caribbean, I went to Jamaica to get the Agate Earrings with 120,000 investment with 4 million purchase. You could um, bring request investment books if you want, or you could port hop until you reach the level of investment that you need. And then lastly, the amber hair or ornament, which is up in Riga, which is the furthest one to really get to, pretty much. And it's all the way up in, like, Norway area. And so getting up to Riga might be a little bit difficult, plus with the battles and stuff that you might come across, it's going to be a little more difficult than some other places to get to. But that requires 120k and 5 million. I managed to avoid having to do this because I found an amber hair ornament in one of the company shops and I bought it for around like 10 million. So, you know, saved me the five, I spent five million so I didn't have to make the trip. So, you know, the rest of this video is going to be pretty much me, you know, circling the locations. Here I am looking for Riga, thinking Riga is Ragusa, but no, it's not. Or Famagusta, no, nope, Riga is up in Northern Europe and I'll show that shortly here. Uh, come on, go up there. Riga. There it is. So, Riga is one of the hardest ones to get to. Now, if you're a Northern European person, it's not that bad, but for me, I was like, I don't want to go all the way up there just to come all the way back to um, the uh, Calicut area. So, what I did is I went and sailed pretty much to Cape Town and sailed from Cape Town all the way back to um, Seville with this character where I met up with my alt where he gave him the Jamaican and Trujillo Jade Ring and Agate earrings and then picked up the amber hair ornament that um, was in the company shops and then I used my toe and log out to sail myself back to the uh, southeastern area where I have uh, my toe and log out uh, location saved as Ambone which is the place where you do spice runs so I just used that as a quick shortcut waited the two hours and then sailed back so you kind of see that here in the last few clips of this, everything that I do, I believe that's pretty much all the details. So once you get all those items, you go back and you talk to the millionaire multiple times, and then when you do, um, you'll get uh, the trade level limit expanding to up to 65. So I hope this information is helpful. Um, this video is going to show the rest of the details, hopefully, um, and if I'm missing anything, I will... Um, uh, explain it, you know, in the description. If you have any questions, please comment, subscribe, what, you know, like, subscribe, all of those things. Here I am. I have all the items. I talked to her. Um, yeah, so I didn't show it on camera how I did all those things, but I just explained it to you how I did it. I did it pretty straightforward, you know. Like I said, I went to all the different places to get what I needed. The only ones I didn't go to were Riga, and I had my alt go to Jamaica and Trujillo, which was my location to get the two items and met up in Seville for it. So once you have all the items, you come back here, you do the, the prompt, you follow through with it. Um, doesn't matter what you choose as your answers, and you'll get the 65 level increase. And when you do, congratulations, you did the first unlock. Now that's not the first and only one, there are others, but for the very least, I wanted to show you everything that you could see, and um, hopefully this information was helpful, and maybe when I do the next uh, unlocking of a level, I will show you that quest.
Take care, everyone. This is Chuck Leonard signing out.